Hello, I'm Bob Moore with Supermicro. We're here today talking during this Tech Talk about the new Supermicro 5U 10 PCIe GPU system. I have with me Alok Shuristov, our Senior Solutions Manager. Thanks, Alok, for joining us again. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Last time we were doing a Tech Talk, we were talking about the universal GPUs that we have here. They have the internal SXM form factor GPUs. This happens to have the PCIe form factor. We're showing it here in the 5U height, but of course it comes in the 4U as well. Yes, so yeah. can you give us a brief overview of the technology, the storage, the memory, the processor, of course, the new Intel Xeon fourth generation scalable processor? So this, as you said, you know, this is also available in 4U form factor also. And the key difference is this particular system we call as our industry workhorse. Why we call industry workhorse? Because this did really well with the previous generations and uh, it is all set to do you know well with this next generation as well so the specs real quick on this system this is powered by intel's fourth generation intel xeon scalable processor right right so the the previous one what we were talking about the h100 powered this universal gpu system so this is going to you know with this will be a game changer for hoppers with pci version as well right so that's that's the beauty of the system and uh, for the specs, real quick on this one, this is also powered by you know two CPUs, uh, dual CPU, 32 DIMM slots. It can go up to eight terabytes of local memory, 24 drive bays as you can see here. And out of these 24 drive bays, you know eight will be NVMe U.2 drives by default. And there is an option to add eight more drives. And on top of that, you can add two more drives, M.2 drives for operating system. So this is on the storage side. And for all those applications that calls for lots and lots of local storage, this is the perfect system to go with. Wow. Second thing, you know, at uh, uh, for, for the expansion slots, it has 13 PCI slots, and out of which, um, you know, six are via PLX switch, and one direct CPU connect. And wow. on top of that, there is one AIM slot also, and AIM, you know, pretty much, you know, pretty much people are familiar with this, that it stands for Advanced Input Output Module that supports OCP 3.0. Wow, that's great. That's a lot of memory, a lot of storage, a lot of expansion slots. It's no wonder it's such a popular system. Now, briefly, because I know this comes in, uh, the 4U comes in the dual route, the single route, and the direct connect. It's probably important that we just touch briefly on that because, of course, with the dual route, you got the two processors connecting the uh, CPU simultaneously, yeah. or GPU simultaneously in, in the single route, spirit of pair. So tell us about that. Yeah, it's a good question. Again, so you know what happens with dual route? It is a well-balanced system. When we say well-balanced, there are two CPUs. In turn, each CPU is connected to a PLX switch. And each PLX switch, in turn, is catering to six PCI slots. So two CPUs, two PLX switches, six on each root complex. So it becomes 12. And then one PCI slot is direct connect to the CPU. All these slots are PCI Gen 5 by 16. Right. And as I said, you know, the memory is also DDR5. So all these components on this particular system is going to be the latest and greatest components. Wow, fantastic, it sounds great. Okay, so dual root, single root, direct connect on the, the direct of course, no switch in that one. So yeah, so that is that is the key, that uh, in direct connect there is no PLX switch. Right. So it is direct, the, the PCI slots are directly connected to the CPU, so low latency. And in single root, you know what happens is the two PLX switches, they both are connected to single CPU. That's single root. Right, okay, perfect. Uh, since we're talking about those in the GPUs, let's pull this out and yeah. take a look at it because there they are right in the back there. Why don't you describe them a little bit and uh, go into a little of detail. Yeah, so on this particular system, as I mentioned, there are you know 13 PCI slots, all PCI Gen 5 by 16. And um, as you mentioned about the H100 accelerators or the GPUs. Right. So this one is in PCI form factor and the the one which we were talking about earlier is in XXM form factor. So this PCI form factor is also going to be a game changer for mainstream compute. So what it means basically on this particular system, you can put up to 10, this um, H100 GPUs, but here you can see eight of them are installed and two slots are open so that you can see, you know, how these PCI slots are. Right. And on top of that, this particular system, as I mentioned, this is, you know, PCI Gen 5, by 16, so you can use CX7, NVIDIA's CX7 networking cards that can go up to 400 gigabit per second mix. Right. So that is that is second thing. And the third very important thing is that, you know, in number of cases where you want to surpass the, or you want to avoid 
the bottleneck of the PCI bus. So you can use a converge card, that is a third card, which is also PCI Gen 5 by 16. So by that, by using that converged card, you know what happens is the, the chip of this CX-7 and H100, they are on same module. So that way you avoid the, the bottleneck of the PCI bus. And that is a perfect fit for applications where, you know, the PCI bottlenecks plays a crucial role, you know. So, sure. so for those type of applications, this is a perfect fit. The fourth one, you know, the fourth option is called DPU. And DPU here stands for data processing unit. And for data processing unit, what happens is that in number of cases, you know, um, it is it is said that in a typical AI environment, around 15 to 20 percent of CPU cycles are consumed by for net uh, for infrastructure management. So by adding DPU, you can just you know do two things. First, you can just you know get rid of this this particular type of workload. So your CPU has 15 to 20 percent of extra CPU cycles for application, number one thing. Number two, it gives you extra layer of security. So these are the two important things that DPU brings to the table. And it is also called data center infrastructure chip on, on just you know one model. Very critical, lots of great flexibility and I like that we're building in all this new security along with the other security things we're doing, so that's great. You talked about CX-7 and DPU. I happen to have a couple of those with me. There's the DPU right yes, there. Yes, yes, this the is CX7. the DPU, yes. Yeah, if you want to just show those briefly, you can yeah. describe it. So on this DPU, as I mentioned, so this this DPU, what, what happens is there is um, CX-7 chip and also the H100 chip. So these two things, you know, put together, this is this is called DPU. And on the on the other end, this is CX-7 NIC. So this can give you up to 400 gigabit, you know, per second of, uh, of networking capability. It sounds great. And I can't leave you without talking about where Omniverse is. This is oh, perfect yes. for Omniverse. Yeah. Omniverse and Metaverse, it is creating lots and lots of buzz in the market. And at Supermicro, we have this particular platform, which is a perfect fit, tailor-made for Omniverse and Metaverse type of applications. Why we say that? Because, you know, on for for these type of application, according to the reference design, you know, what happens is uh, there should be two root complexes and on each root complex, you can put four L40s, right? right? And on each root complex, you have to put one CX-7. You can do one CX-7 install on each root complex. And on top of that, you have two extra slots that can take care of north, north south traffic. Of course, perfect, I understand that. All right, so one last question for you. It's available in the 4U, we're showing it here in the 5U height. Why do we have the 5U if it's available? Oh yeah, again, you know, it's very, very important to you know clarify this. On the 4U, there is limitation, thermal limitation, because you know, it can support up to 350 watt TDP, the, the CPUs or the processors, and it can support up to 300 or 350 watts uh, TDP accelerators. On the other end, you know, this is obvious now that the TDP of the next generation components is going significantly higher. higher and higher. So for the CPUs with this 5U, this particular system is designed to support up to 400 TDP in terms of pro uh, processors or you know the CPUs, and also it can support up to 600 watt TDP accelerators. So it is sort of you know future proof. So at Supermicro we are ready because pretty soon you will see number of accelerators coming with higher TDP. I like that. So, so we're future-proofing our solutions for our customers. A look that's fascinating, very educational. I appreciate it. Thanks for being with us. And thanks, everybody, for watching today. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Learn more at www.supermicro.com.